Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Uh, I am Rex. I can no longer have children. All right, we're finally getting to the last of Charlie's gifts. Charlie G. Freaking Haig. Yep, otherwise known as the Harwood. So this is Sonoma wait, wait, County wait, 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 wait. Sonoma Rye Whiskey. Don't step on my line. Oh, sorry. You make them as a bastard! Okay, so, uh, Sonoma Rye. Okay. Ironically, from so, Sonoma. Well, and then, like, that's usually wine country. It is. I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, because it's so Californian. Right. <laughs> uh, no, the master distiller there is Adam Spiegel. So, or Spiegel, or I'm actually sorry, Adam. I don't know how to pronounce your I, last name. I know nothing about this. Did they age? Hundred percent rye. Did they age the rye in any kind of wine cask? Because no. Cinema? Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, good on them. Not going for the low hanging fruit there. This is Canadian rye. Oh, this smells like a furniture store. We get that. That makes all of their own furniture in house. Like that lacquer finish in wood. Yeah, this is intense. Does it taste as intense as it smells? Are you gonna be okay? Son of a bitch! What the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> What's the proof? Fifty-five. <laughs> Warn somebody. I haven't even gone past the smell yet because this is aggressive. So this is this is intense. Bottled on October 2016, so a year and, and ago. After all that fanfare, I must say, I really like it. <laughs> Charlie, um, I've been putting this one off because you know we're not usually fans of rye. I'm going back for more, man. I am a professional. Oh, I can do this. Mm. Right. I get dill, like the dill seed. Like you ever get dill in the packets in the spice aisle at like Whole Foods? So much pickle. Oh. Yeah. It's like chewing on dill seeds. I thought Charlie liked it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to have my doubts. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than take another sip, I'll pull out a comment. Bellifree, I have an engineer friend who went over to, to Japan for work last week. I asked him to pick me up a few bottles of Japanese whiskey and I would pay him back. Since then, he has been sending me photos of him in a whiskey <laughs> bar drinking. <laughs> I love this friend. Yamazaki 12, Nika 17, Ardbeg Anoa, Koala 12, and Blanton Single Barrel Japanese bourbon. Yes. Probably just relabeled with Japanese. Uh <laughs> <laughs> got, this is what Rex would do to me totally all would. day long. I totally would. You have a Rex friend. And then I would bring you a bottle of something that I knew you wanted. Uh-huh. Uh no, he wouldn't. <laughs> Whenever I asked him if you picked like, me up. Sorry, man, they confiscated it. <laughs> Damn TSA. <laughs> when I asked him if he picked me up a bottle of something like Hibiki or a rare Japanese whiskey, he said he spent all his money at the bar for the day and can't afford to get it. <laughs> And this is, is this the definition of reverse smooching? Yes. That's just rep representation of a friend, man. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine it was like, you want this? It's real good. Yeah, I can't, I can't do this one anymore, dude. I'm gonna move on. So uh, on the taste, I'm keep just getting the same things. Heavy cinnamon, heavy anise, heavy dill. Heavy wood, lacquer. So the finish is aggressive. What happened to the ice machine? Licking wood, like the arm of a new wood chair. This is the Stag Junior of rye. No, but this is, I mean, Stag Junior even has more subtlety than this. What? Yeah. All right, come on. Craig McCombs showed up and hung out with us today. Oh yeah, I met the guy. Yeah, I met the guy. All Your the, old friend. All me and Craig go way back. That's right. Don't you know? So Craig, uh, this is a really fast turnaround, but because we we're drinking a rye, a rye, I thought we'd do both of them back to back. Oh, oh, um, Jack oh. Daniels. Shh, shh, hold on. Wait, look. You tell your stories. Single barrel rye. Jack Daniels single barrel rye. Fine. The guy that you brought, Craig mm -hmm. Daniels. Craig McCones. Craig McCones. Think like Andy. Right. That's okay. I just happen to be walking across the property and I see Daniel and Craig 
And then they uh, they shared with me some uh, little list of whiskeys that they had without me. That's right, thirty one year old Mortlock. We had uh, Riders Tears. We had Tears. other things. So maybe get the bell. <laughs> we'll get the bell app. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, okay, so so other than that, Craig was delayed. I'm gonna go on record as saying that neither Craig or I liked this one either. Hmm. But it's a contrast. Ooh, this is Tennessee charcoal filtered rye. <laughs> you know what this smells like to me? An old beer can. <laughs> I was about to say it's kind of skunky. It smells like you. When I was a kid, I used to go collect cans to turn them in for recycling and get some extra money. Right. And this smells like when I would pick up one of the old used beer cans in the alley, and there yeah. was still some beer in it. Yeah. And it would spill out when I threw it into the trash bag. Yeah. It's super sweet and alcoholic notes. It's seventy percent rye, eighteen percent corn, twelve percent malted barley, and it's got some. I got the tang. weirdest note of celery right at the front end there. Yeah, this one's all the sweet. See, Rye just is doesn't like you. Rye is trying not trying to be your friend. Right. I wonder how much more Rye is sold because of the song. Yeah. Or because Rye is becoming trendy in cocktails. Because it's, it's, a co got, it's a cocktail whiskey. It's got so much character, it could stand out well in a cocktail. Right. But the thing is, if you like seasoning on a steak, it doesn't mean you go eat the seasoning by the spoonful. Yeah. Just because you like the notes and the flavor parts of something doesn't mean you want it all by itself all the time. So I just don't. I would I have given. I, like I would have given the Sonoma more of a chance. Yeah, not me. If I had ice, I would have done ice. I'm gonna mix them together and see if that recovers either of them. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're about to die. You're dying right now. Oh no! Oh no! That's a. This became old lady perfume. It really is. People, this is funny. People's like, man, you guys never tried whiskeys you don't like. Well, we're doing so it right now. now. <laughs> uh, I don't know what, every once in a while. Yeah, see, this is what happens when we do, is we are ruthless. People want objectivity. And again, I've, we've said this before. We try to pick whiskeys that we're pretty sure we're gonna like, because what fun is it in tasting whiskeys that, you know, we don't hey, like, we're pretty sure other people aren't gonna like I can it. actually handle that. Every once in a while, we'll try something that we think, hey, maybe this, maybe this is good, and it's not. And we will tell you, for we us. We don't like it. We don't like it. And other, that's all that means? All right, so that was an improvement. It was an improvement. Templar 73.2, anyone else have whiskey pixies? Wait, you think he's a real Templar? Like from Assassin's Creed? Yeah. I want wrist knives. Should we kill him? Anyone else have uh, Whiskey Pixies moved in ever since they started watching this fab channel? Yes. Uh, I do. I buy whiskeys and the bottles either have a leak or someone is coming in and nicking it all. Yes. Damn those pixies. Yes, I, I and then he adds, thought I was the only one. Wait, wait. And then there's a flourish at the end. And then he adds... Hit. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yes, I thought I was the only one. My whiskey just vanishes. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like a week ago, I brought home a full bottle of Angel's Envy. Yeah. There's only this much left, but I've been in classes for two weeks. Your wife. She, What's happening? Your wife. She swears she doesn't like the Angel's Envy. Yeah, it's... She might be lying. Or <laughs> I have a key to your house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it turns out your problem is that you don't have pixies, you have Rex issues. So I'd be tr I'd be interested in trying something non rye from some Sonoma guy. Whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, me too. Give something that actually we more prefer in general. Well, and again, I think even rye people, like, who are really excited about rye, they would have a hard time with this because it's so intensely aggressive. Yeah. It's no holds barred now. This is no Rittenhouse or Bullet Rye. This is... Right. Mm. All right, well, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, it neuter <laughs> neuters you from the inside. That's what it does. <laughs> You take no a longer sip. have children. <laughs> you know, neuters you from the inside out. Uh, if you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal lovers' hearts. If you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.